was so funny. What's up, guys? Welcome back to our video. <laughs> um, now it's just funny because I don't even know. Anyways, Chris is being funny like two seconds before he pushes the record button. Oh, I wish this, th this GoPro would start faster than it did. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, electrical, ducting, same stuff we were doing yesterday. That's where we're at right now. What same else? thing we do every day. We start something, we don't finish it. <laughs> we get distracted. We talk too much. We joke, um, phone calls, everything else. So every day we probably actually really work for about 45 minutes. Uh, that's why there's so many videos. So I think we're on video like 73 of the paint booth. Uh, so let's show you what, uh, what hasn't been done since yesterday. So, oh, well we did get a little bit of production done here. While we, we started were talking the whole time. Yeah, we were talking, uh, complaining about everyone in our lives as we started peeling off the, the coating here. Um, one thing that was pointed out to us is it says, please tear down the protective film in three months if pr products leave the facility. So obviously that's some sort of, and, and don't put it in the sun, which it's, yeah. Um, so that was definitely a Google Translate right there. But got the floor opened up. I'm just gonna start running some of the electrical down across. That's just the first piece. Just threw that in real quick. Uh, that's where the light's gonna be. We're also putting the control panel on the other side. Uh, I'm a little OCD about a few things, so I'm gonna bring the electrical up through the wall and then into the back of the control panel so you're not gonna see any of the conduits that go from the panel to the blower, to the lights, things like that. The only one that will be visible is the one that goes to the electrical panel. So out here, show you on the other side of that. Simply, because it's open, comes up, straps right here. I'll make some connections, make sure they're good and tight. Dink, dink, dink. That's it. Um, I'm gonna do the similar on the other side. That's gonna be for both motors, and there is gonna be one over here that's for the heater and the louver. Uh, the heater is gonna be mounted up here. It is powered by two uh, single phase 240 volt. Uh, and this is just a control for that louver to open and close depending on if you're gonna do recirculating or fresh air. So there is gonna be, a, since these are on the outside, there will be a conduit on the outside here. But the game is, the plan is it'll still the same on the other side where we're gonna bring them up through the wall into the back of the control panel so they won't be seen. What are you doing today, Jared? I gotta get up there. Let's you guys already know I hate heights, so I gotta cut that wall out to get that duct to blow in, get these all secured. I got all the foil tape today, so get that all sealed up. So that's what I'll be doing. And I'm sure that those two little things that I have to do is gonna take all day long, since we're gonna be working like two feet away from each other, BSing. So that's where we're at. I know, I feel like this week's kind of been a clustered mess we didn't do anything we, we got a motor we did get a motor so but this is just us being transparent with you guys you know we're not there's nothing fancy going on here this is a real shop we're really not making any money right now yeah this so. is really just our, our setup phase mind you we're just getting some of this stuff done because we're waiting on parts for the the 72 um and we're just trying to give you a day-to-day -day of what we're doing so plus mind you we're running our other businesses, everything else. This is not the only thing we do. Uh, so yeah, it's not It's not like we were here for, you know, eight to 12 hours uh, actually doing work. There's a lot of times we stop, we're on the phone, we're doing everything else. But yeah, it's just, a, just, just what our day consisted of being here at the shop. But yep, there's the two blowers, wires, wires. Uh, I'll pop a conduit up into here somewhere, similar to what the other side did, and that'll be that. So we're going to throw in some time lapses and uh, bore the hell out of you. Yep. Okay. 
All right, guys, quick update. Back inside the paint booth, you can see I drilled four holes and this support that's going across this entire uh, paint booth is sitting right in the hole. So I'm gonna have to shorten that up a little bit. But you can saw the outside was just a pain in the butt. This is not easy by any means. But I just wanna give you a quick update. I'm just gonna come in here with this angle grinder cut this last you can see where it was came through I had to cut this little section out on the back side because it's like a little cup little C channel because it's these two pieces connected together so um, <coughs> I'm just gonna cut this little piece you can see where I've already cut all the way through a little touch up and uh, we'll get this thing up to date and uh, get this new time-lapse going All right, guys, back outside the paint booth, sitting on top of this blower. You can see the very top. So just so you guys didn't know, what I'm sitting on is the actual blower. I think this thing's like four feet tall or four feet deep. And here's the exhaust down there. And way down there is that chute that Chris was talking about, opens and closes the louver. We'll get that all done, but... And obviously all the heat will circulate in this big tub that I'm in but I got the hole cut you can see inside the booth so what I'm gonna do is take some foil tape foil tape all around here make sure there's no styrofoam stuff like that that's gonna come loose during this paint job but this is where the filters are all gonna go all the air goes in right here and out right there so if you remember there's this cross brace that goes all the way across the booth I was sitting up against this wall right there so I couldn't couldn't take that section of the wall out so it's a um, it's a load bearing area of that wall so that's why we left that little piece but we'll be definitely fine with this eight inches that I had to leave on there but just want to give you a quick little update so stay tuned Alright guys, quick update. I was able to get the upper burner ducting all sealed up, taped up with some foil tape. Um, just had to get the, the exhaust ducting on. You know, get this sealed up on. This is the easy one. It's all low down here, but you can see it's all done up there. The only thing we have to do is just cut a hole for... Uh, my chimney slat for the exhaust for the burner like it's going to come out through the top of that ducting and figure out how we're going to seal it all up since it's going to be scorching hot but that's where we're at with this going along pretty slow but it's getting done you know it's not bad for stuff that we've never done before again this is all supposed to be interior stuff so try and get it sealed up the best we can but so far you know so good but i hope you guys are enjoying the video and stay tuned All right, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching. We always appreciate it. Um, I do want to thank you guys again for the thousand subscribers. I think we're actually sitting around 1,200 already from the last day. Um, you, know, you know, we can't be more thankful for, you know, all the support and stuff that we've been seeing in the last two months. October 5th, actually today is exactly two months since we started posting videos. And it's literally, in my eyes, it just seems like it's just blowing up 
but uh you know thank you we appreciate it but you can see we're able to get this ducting and stuff all knocked out um the only thing i do need to do is put the foil tape around this chris is finishing up the electrical he's gonna come by tomorrow to get that done i don't know if he's gonna throw a camera up yet and we'll see but uh anyways yeah that's where we're at you know things are going pretty smooth we're getting so close you know i gotta get this gotta get this bronco started get this thing sold <coughs> excuse me but uh yeah so again you know we're waiting on some different colors you know i did see a guy said that he'd he would do a black on black satin then another guy said that they would do an orange one so you know whatever you guys think you know we'd definitely love to hear you guys' feedback again you know we're still trying to debate if we're going to do a single stage or just a uh, base coat clear coat but uh yeah so i hope you guys are enjoying the videos you know i know you guys a lot of you guys are waiting for these broncos to start and we're so close you know i think chris is chris said he's gonna get this thing up and running tomorrow uh, um kind of bummed i can't be here i got some stuff to deal with family but um yeah so that's where we're at probably one more day on this gotta get those axles stripped down and then yeah we gotta do the paint and get that thing assembled so anyways you know i hope you guys have a good weekend if i don't get back on here tomorrow we will see you guys on monday have a great weekend